Mathematical notation can be intimidating for anybody without an academic or math background, but we will learn a few basics. Let's start with the alphabetic characters, which can be uppercase or lowercase. These don't provide enough variable names, coefficients, constants, etc., so we have to also add Greek letters to our alphabet, including their uppercase and lowercase counterparts. There are conventions, though. Scalar variables, which contain a single value, are often denoted by a lowercase alphabetic letter. Vectors, which you can think of as list of numbers, are denoted by a bold lowercase letter. The numbers themselves are comma separated inside round or square brackets. A variable containing a matrix is often denoted by a capital letter. Angles, whether they are radians or degrees, are often denoted by the Greek symbol theta. Certain symbols, such as lowercase pi and Euler's number e, are reserved for special constants you will see all over mathematics. If you see a symbol with parentheses to its right accepting an argument, you are most likely looking at a function. There are special functions such as log of x and sine of x and e to the x, but there are operators that can be done on functions such as max, which will return the maximum output variable that can be achieved with that function, which is 3. There is also argmax, which does the same thing except it finds the input variables that achieves that maximum output variable. There are minimum counterparts as well. Let's take a look at one more function example, the normal distribution. As you can see, there are our two constants, pi and Euler's number e. We saw those earlier. Mu and sigma are the mean and standard deviation respectively. They control where the bell curve is located as well as how spread out it is. Those are calculated beforehand and are fixed. This leaves us with only one variable x. Everything else is fixed and then we can produce our bell curve function. So what about when you see a variable with a subscript of i? What exactly does this mean? This indicates that there is a collection or vector of numbers belonging to a variable x, and we can access one of those elements by that index. Note carefully that traditional math notation uses one-based indexing, not zero like many programming languages. If you see an uppercase sigma, more than likely you are dealing with a summation, which essentially says add up all of the x elements together in a given list or vector. Since there are five elements, you would read this as for i equals one through five, add all of those x elements. The uppercase pi is the multiplication counterpart. It multiplies all the elements in a vector or list together. You can add decorations and modifiers to a given symbol to specify a different context. For example, x bar can specify the mean or average of all the x values. Another example of modifying a variable for a different context is putting a hat on the y value to indicate the predicted y values on a linear regression as opposed to the actual values which are observed in the data. There are other areas of mathematical notation that we should cover in the future, including linear algebra, calculus, set theory. We will save these for future videos. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. Please check out my books, Essential Math for Data Science and Getting Started with SQL, and I will see you next time on 3-Minute Data Science.